Okay. There's so much swirling through my head right now. Uh, and I'm trying to get it all straight so I can convey it in the right way. But, I mean, we all know yesterday was a really awesome day, really exciting day. One of the best days ever, uh, having these two artists come together, Bandmade and The Warning. Uh, <laughs> it was one of the most exciting things that's happened in my two years of doing this channel the way I do, you know. And <laughs> it's it's a just a really awesome thing. I'm still beaming about that because Bandmade and The Warning are just so special these days. Very special bands. Um and some of you may have seen my reaction to that. I was pretty giddy. I was like a kid in a candy store, just so excited to see them working together. And it was an amazing song, too. I was really grateful to have been able to hear it and grateful to whoever the warning crew member was that live streamed it. And I think all of us fans were grateful for that because this world freaking sucks. And we need a light in it sometimes like that. Uh, when stuff like that happens, it makes life a lot more bearable. But last night, right before I went to bed, I logged into my YouTube studio to check on my latest videos, uh, check in on the conversation that was happening, because, man, there was some great conversation happening uh, on my reaction and the repost of that live that was formatted in 1080p, people were excited. This is a huge deal, and, you know, it's causing a lot of buzz because we've all been waiting for this, um, you know, and it was a great song. So there's just so much fun discussion around it, and... uh. Anyway, now I'm just getting, uh, I'm reminiscing. So I log in to my account and I see this. <laughs> my videos were removed <laughs> by force and my channel has a copyright strike on it now. Now this isn't a copyright claim. All of my videos get copyright claimed, um, but I'll just explain this spiel again copyright claims uh make it so the original artist gets all the revenue from the ads that are played on the video um and then there's blocks like they can just block it so no one can see it but this a, a strike goes against your channel and if you get three of these your channel's gone absolutely gone and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit devastated right now and feeling dejected because I've spent the last two years just spending tons of my time free of charge promoting this band, as a lot of us have. And, I mean, not only reaction videos, but on the Gaijin guys, we would talk about them every week. We would keep fans updated, you know, donating our time to basically give this band free promotion. Uh, oh, by the way, it removed by Pony Canyon. Um, but you know, I've done nothing but support this band <laughs> and it's not the band, you know, it's, it's the management, it's the label. But the thing that frustrates me the most about this is that the li the video was put out there by uh, it was streamed by the warning, you know, on Instagram Live. It was put out there officially by one of their pages, and they got to know at this point when something's out there, they're creating a buzz. People are going to latch on to that. They're going to react to it and they're going to share it. 
because that's music. Music is an interactive community thing. And, uh, you know, it was out there and we were going to do what we do with it. Um, unfortunately, instead of just blocking that video across YouTube, they decided to go down and target channels and take the videos down, which copyright strikes the channels, which is putting the livelihood at risk of the people who do this like I do. I, I make, I mean, I support my family with this channel. A big chunk of my living comes from this channel now. Uh, obviously not through reaction videos, but through other ways of doing it. Um, so if I lose this channel, I lose my main way of feeding my kid and, you know, supporting my wife and kid. And this is putting that at risk. And it's just, it's a huge bummer because like I said, I've done nothing but support this band. I've reacted to every song of theirs, and I mean, to put it plainly, every time anyone reacts to a bandmate song or a Warren song or any other band, that's basically free money for the band and promotion. Because when you get that copyright claim, you, your video's ineligible for ads, it still runs ads, and that money goes straight to the copyright owner. So these reaction videos that pull in a lot of views are generating a decent chunk of income for the band that, you know, it's a revenue stream for the bands to have reaction videos. So <laughs> it's just like, I understand why they did it. They want, um, all of the views to go to their, their official release. But at the same time, I'm like, if they didn't want this out there, why was there not clear communication between all of the band's management, both sides, that we are not letting this song escape this room? Or what would be even more disappointing is if this was intentional to create buzz, but this was the plan all along. Like, we'll let it out for a day so the fans can hear it and get hyped. And then we'll take all the videos down. I wouldn't be upset at all if they blocked the videos. Because that, that's just a block. No one would be able to see my videos anymore. And that, that would be totally fair. And I would get the message like, okay, this shouldn't be on YouTube. But taking it down manually and putting my channel at risk. It's like... It's... I don't even know what to say, man. It's freaking devastating to get this kind of strike from a band that I've supported so heavily. <laughs> and I don't under understand why they didn't just block the video, you know? But I guess I'm just whining at this point. I mean, I just made that video about baby metal and electric cowboy blocking my video. And it sounds like I'm just whining all the time. And in my head, it feels like I just can't catch a break. Like, <laughs> I keep getting targeted in some way, and my videos are not able to succeed because they're either blocked or they're taken down before they can do anything meaningful. Um, but thankfully, I did see these two videos do a lot of meaningful stuff. I mean, almost 30,000 views before they were taken down. Um, and so much buzz and hype and discussion that was really cool to see so i was happy to see that discussion i was happy to see that so many people in the fan base thought this song was awesome you know because that's a great sign this this collaboration is going to be a huge success and it's going to do well but for me now it's like there's this bittersweet memory of it even when i hear the studio version or whatever videos they put out i'm gonna be uh 
I'm going to have this strike on my channel until September, uh, putting my channel at risk. Because if I got two more, my channel would disappear. <laughs> so I'm going to get over it because it's an awesome, it's one of the coolest things that's happened in memory in the music scene. But right now it's very devastating and demotivating. And I wish that they would have just blocked the video instead of copyright striking my channel, my literal livelihood. <sighs> anyway, I hope this doesn't come across as whiny. It's just weird that they would stream this and then strike people for reacting to it and sharing it. Because that's how the music industry works these days, man. We share. This is part of why these bands are so successful is because we generate hype online. We are all friends with each other. We form these communities and we talk about it. We hype it up. We tell other people. And this just feels like a gut punch to me. Anyway, I just keep saying the same thing over and over now. So thanks for watching. I don't know. I just wanted to share why my video disappeared and why I'm frustrated right now. But like I said, I'm going to get over it because I love both of these bands. And again, it's not the bands. It's the labels and management. And uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day.